What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin and you're watching No Limits On. And today we're having a look at two cranes or stands with functionality of a crane. I'd like to mount this little baby, the VL150 from Godox with Aperture Light Dome 2, but it's not exactly from Aperture. It's a much cheaper version, but it's like exactly the same, guys. So I used to use this little stand, it's pretty flimsy, and this light and this light dome needs, desperately needs something better, heavier, and we'll find out which one is the better one. Let's go. So these two cranes, I'm gonna call it cranes because it's not exactly a stand, are from Falconize company. The first one is Falconize LSB-2 and the second one is Falconize LSB-2JS. Also you can find something like those stands from different manufacturers, for example Gene Bay, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll just have a look at the design, functionality weight capacity and all that stuff. So before those two stands, I was using those ones. These are Mei King L2200FP and uh, I ordered those together with my KMTV Bolton lights and I have three of those and each and every single stand has broken parts somewhere right here. So either this part or the lower one or the higher one. So these are great, lightweight, but not for this beast, which is around, I guess, five kilograms at least. So today we're going to be choosing a different one to mount this beast up above. So it's a crane actually, that, that is why we're going to be mounting this up above. And just we'll find out if the smaller one, which is the uh, LSB-2, the simple one without any letters anymore, is enough for me to use this thing or maybe I have to buy a more expensive and a more heavy um, option which is this one. So let's go. So guys, let's start with the first stand which is the smaller one, uh, Falconize LSB-2. It's pretty heavy, maybe it's around four to five kilograms but it can hold around four to six kilograms of weight, which is nice, and it's working as a crane also. So here we have 120 centimeters spread of the legs, and if we collapse the stand, you can see that it's pretty high. It's something like 120, maybe 130 centimeters, um, 183, so you can imagine. So about the benefits of this stand, here we have the spigot which we can mount at any point from the top, from the side, from the other side, so different mounting points. Also we have this protection cover for the spigot and this is the quarter inch thread and uh, three eighths of an inch thread, so the most common threads right here. Those, uh, you know, tightening parts are metal, so it's not going to be breaking and the others are from aluminum, which is, you know, making it not that heavy. And here we go, here we have the special mechanism. We untighten this knob, by the way, there are some springs, and we have to untighten the middle part of it, so we untighten this part and we pull it like so. And when we get to the end point, we can fix it right here. And after this, we can actually untighten this part and tilt it like so, using it like a crane. Then we tighten this up, untighten the previous knob once again, made out of metal, so it's pretty safe. And we can do it like so, as a crane. And we tighten this back up. Then we can lift it up like so. So this is the maximum height of the stand in crane position. So it's a little bit over two meters. And here we have the special uh, hole for holding the sandbag, which is inside of the package, by the way. Also, we have this special mountain carabin, if I'm not mistaken, if there were carabin. So here is the Velcro little sandbag. You can put some bottles of water here or just the sand, some holes here, and you simply attach it with the carabin here pretty nicely. And you can also 
make it much, much longer. Let's turn it this a little bit, like so. And we untighten this one. It also has a spring in it. And we can pull it till uh, this much out of frame, I guess. And it's uh, 2 meters and 15 centimeters of length. So it's a pretty, pretty, you know, long part. Be careful with the legs. Always put the pressure on the front leg. It's not really correct right, right now, but I'm holding it with my hand, so it's okay. And you can put the counterweight here, your, uh, you know, soft box and your light fixture uh, there to the end. And you can put it upside down like so and make some amazing, beautiful shots from, you know, lighting from above with some soft, beautiful and controlled lighting because of the grid. And then you can collapse it back. First of all, you can lower the stand like so. The springs are helping you out. Then you untighten this knob. You turn it like so. You return it to, you know, the original position. And then you untighten this little arm. And then untighten this now I'm back and you simply collapse it down and now it's all set and done pretty convenient construction guys I do enjoy using it and uh, it actually doesn't take a lot of space my friends told me that I have to buy a c-stand to hold this much weight oh, I'm not sure about using c-stands in the you know home environment home YouTube studio because it's very heavy it's much bigger it takes a lot more place and space in your flat in your apartment so that is why I'm just sticking to the smaller ones I hope they will uh, hold the weight properly <laughs> at least I hope so and this little beast four kilograms of weight is a counterweight for this bigger stand so let's talk about this one so guys here's the second stand which is falconize lsb-2js and it has a little bit different construction and can actually hold much more weight not much more but more it's a little bit heavier than this one and also it has an interesting mechanism which is detachable crane arm it detaches like so we have a special handle right here for you know more comfortable operating also we have two handles right here which are better solutions for at least for me to you know tighten the different parts of the stand different extending parts of the stand uh, the spigot also has three mounting positions on the sides and on top it has the protection it has the quarter inch thread the three eighths of an inch thread so nothing special right here and this thing can be this long it's two meters and 30 centimeters guys very long thing so as you can see right here oof so this part is very sturdy it, it has uh, you know thicker uh, thicker parts thicker tubes if you will and uh, all in all, it's a much, you know, beefier construction than the previous one. So we can mount it like so, and then it's all the same. We can unscrew this one. We can put it in this position, screw this back on, unscrew this part. Then we can choose the, the length. Also, then we can... Oh! mount this 4.5 kilograms of counterweight with a special holder it's working guys so now it's time to put this beast to this system and we'll see if it holds the weight so guys it's the moment of truth and here i have my more beefy lsb-2js stand and actually i'll have not a lot of length here the counterbalance is here and let's try to mount this thing so guys as you can see this construction is pretty stable the weight is on the leg right here so this leg is extended towards the weight and uh, maybe we have to you know put it a little bit higher so guys finally we did it and now it's time to turn on the light and uh, it's working actually <laughs> the ceiling is not high enough to you know put it 
even higher. It's uh, actually the maximum distance, but for me it's uh, more than enough. Maybe I can put it a little bit further from the table, but as for right now, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. You know, it's not wiggling all the way. If you want me to make a review, a full review about this light, the VL150 and this light dome, so please share your thoughts in the comment section below and say, yeah, I want a review, but I'll make it anyway. One more benefit of this type of uh, stand, of a crane, is that you can mount your light to almost any position. You can put it down, you can put it to the side, you can put it upside down and all that stuff. It's much more versatile solution than the regular stand. So now it's time to try the second one. Just for the experiment, guys, I have detached this weight, the counterweight, and uh, actually it's standing still. My piece of advice is not to use it like so because it's very unstable. As you can see, a little touch and it's going to fall like so. So use the counterweight. I'm looking at the monitor, sorry. So use the counterweight, guys. But if you forgot it at home or something, you can still use it without it. Or if you are too lazy to bring with you this heavy duty, you can simply have a plastic bag and fill it with, I don't know, plastic bottles of water or something and simply put it right here as a counterweight. It's also going to be working just fine. So guys, I was able to mount this thing onto a much smaller stand, but it's a much more flimsier construction, much more flimsy construction. Uh, this part is bending a little bit and uh, the whole length of it, the working length with this amount of weight is not very big. So that is why I'll have to use the counterweight. I won't be using the sandbag because I have no sand in my backyard. It's winter in Russia, but I'll be using this part just as a reference point. So we'll see, can we get this arm a little bit longer and uh, let's find out. So guys, I was able to gain like 30 centimeters of length when using the counterbalance and the whole construction is now much more stable. It's not going to fall anywhere. So use the sandbags or counterweights every time you do something like so. So this stand is just enough to use with this light. Nothing which is heavier is not going to be working for sure. So guys, which one do I prefer? Of course, the first one is more heavy, the JS model, but uh, it's too much weight for me, actually. And I much prefer the lighter gear because weight is important for me. So I guess I'm gonna stick to this one. I'll be using the sandbag. I'll be using the, you know, this, this type of things. And uh, kids are not running all the time around my, you know, working space, my studio. And I guess the lighter the gear, the better, because I'll be taking this from time to time to my shoots. And it's just a more usable piece of kit, in my opinion. It's not perfect, guys, it's not perfect. Actually, if I was choosing the better overall stand, of course, the JS model is certainly better overall. For studio, for, you know, all the time in one place, it's a much better solution. But for me, for my needs, I need to be convenient, I need to be fast, I need to be light. So I guess I'm gonna stick to this model, Falconize LSB-2. And now about the pricing. This model, the JS model, costs around 100 bucks, which is a pretty great price for this type of product, in my opinion. And this one is a little bit, a little bit less. It's around 70 bucks and uh, it's just a no-brainer for this amount of money. So this one will be serving you for a very long time if you're being gentle and, you know, not putting too much pressure and it's not hanging like a monkey or ape on this one. So we're moving on to the quote of the episode. And today's quote of the episode is from the movie Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. The deprivation of weight pushes to your brain. And yeah, for sure, the deprivation of weight and the weight all in all just pushes to my brain and squeezes it because I'm really tired of carrying a lot of weight to my shoots and all around the studio. So that is why I'm trying to stay light and trying to stay, you know, safe. And uh, how do you say this in English? Let me say movable, mobile. <laughs> 
So that is why I'm just like Peter Linger and stuff a little bit. So I'm just sticking to this smaller uh, solution using the sandbags and all that stuff. And now the question of the episode, guys, which one do you prefer or maybe a different brand or a different system? Just please write it down in the comment section below. And if you do like the content on my channels, we have two channels, the Russian one, the English one, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, as I say in my videos, and also the notifications bell. So you'll be watching more of this content. I hope it was helpful, guys, and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.